Yo, what's good, you guys? I do have so today. I'll be doing another video on, like, this time I'm doing a different video. I'll be doing a video called Five Tips on Being a Successful YouTuber. So, I'm not saying I'm a successful YouTuber, but a lot of you guys actually, like, DM me and ask for tips on uh, how to have a good YouTube channel. So, today I'll be teaching you guys how to have a good YouTube channel, and these are my tips for you guys so you guys could be successful one day you could be a successful youtuber uh so yeah i'm not trying to brag or anything i'm just trying to give you like my opinion of how to be one so yeah without further ado let's get into the first so the first step on being a successful youtuber as is have good content so um one mistake i made was i started match attacks and chased pokemon Oh uh, no! I and then I did fidget spinners and I, I did a little bit of sneakers and then like it's kind of messy. So uh, you guys, if you want to have a successful YouTube channel, uh, you guys maybe only focus on like a few things. So focus on a few things like um, maybe if you like Pokemon cards and only do Pokemon cards on your channel. If you do like vlogs, every, like daily vlogs, like, like Jake Paul, then just do daily vlogs and then. Don't do other stuff, just do daily vlogs. If you like uh, sneaker videos, like Kais, then just do sneaker videos, videos every day. Because, like, if, like, I'm, like, kind of like a Pokemon tuber or something like that, whatever you call it. Um, if I do Pokemon and suddenly do sneakers, people will probably not watch that. And might have a big chance of unsubscribing you if you continue doing what you're not supposed to do on your channel. So I'm really sorry, uh that I've been doing that lately because uh I don't really have like content lady so yeah um so that is the first tip on how to be a successful YouTuber and that is to have good content so the second way on how to be a successful YouTuber is have a good quality recording equipment or like device so right now i'm using the samsung s7 edge uh to me i think the quality is really really good um i don't know i think it's a, a bit better than apple you know i can't i can't like 100 percent guarantee you but i think the quality is quite good um to be honest like because sometimes i record with my dad's phone when my phone is like for some reason not working stuff like that uh, i could uh, i will compare like the quality and i think my phone's quality is actually better so if you guys want to have a good quality phone just go to the do, go to like the phone store and then you know how they're like phone displays uh maybe go to the camera and then maybe like like take it around and see if it's like um like the, if the quality is good and then just like compare all of them and then choose the best one if you're finding one for your recording or if you want to do something more pro and most like that's the most common way is use a camera so um i probably will be using cameras soon uh yeah i'm not sure when but i'm probably gonna buy, buy, buy a camera soon when i like maybe hit 100k that's gonna take forever but um yeah maybe when i hit 100k i'll start using camera for better quality tell me comments down below like i t to be honest i think the quality is quite good tell me tell me what what you guys think um but yeah i have a good quality device for recording and also if you do vlogs or anything like that don't hold hold like your phone like that if you like see your rest of your hand so this is what i'm talking about like because before i vlog i do this and you will see like this part of my hand so right now i actually use a selfie uh like a selfie like a tripod and now as you see you can't see my hand but you can see what i'm doing so yeah i think uh tripods are like really good so that is one really important equipment you guys need uh, i got three tripods for example for you guys i got this one this is a octopus pod uh these are ones i used for my uh vlogs um, and I used one, this one I, I'm using right now is the one I'm using for my YouTube normal videos. This one, uh, it's quite big and bulky. I don't really like this one. This one for like, maybe like when I go to like, I don't even know where, when I bring this one. But yeah, these two are really handy because these are really small. So yeah, have good recording equipment and device. And that will be number two. So the third a priority or something the step to become a successful youtuber will be 
post constantly. Uh, before, like, when I just started YouTube, I don't post, like, much. Like, maybe I just like, post, like, three videos a week. Like, two videos or one video. I don't know. But right now, I try to do daily videos for you guys. Uh, sometimes, like, if you guys see, I don't upload. Uh, I, I'm resting for that day because I might not have time. Or I might want to, like, just rest. So, I'm really sorry, but... Yeah, try to upload constantly, my, like, at least, like, two videos a week. That is probably, like, like, the minimum. Uh, you see, like, just compared to Jake Paul, Jake Paul, uh, like, um, uploads daily, just like Logan Paul. So, um, if you guys want to have a successful, and if you guys want your subscribers to gain fast, then post constantly. <laughs> and on to the fourth tip is don't listen to the haters so uh to me i actually got a lot and a lot and a lot and a lot of hated comments like i to be honest uh the, like when i just started when i got like 10k subscribers like but like when i was in 10k subscribers like um uh, I, I like get a lot of hated comments because like some of you guys like don't think i deserve it or some guys think i sub bought so um so, uh, before I'm, like, really sad when I read these comments now, like, when I see these comments, I think they're normal. Maybe, like, I act, like, really positive. You know, people say, like, F you, and then I'll be like, I love the comment, and then I say, thank you. Like, you know, you want to be savage sometimes, and you want to make yourself happy, so, you know, you can do some savage ways. Or, if you guys don't want to be that rude, even though that's not rude, they're rude to you, uh, maybe just don't, just ignore them, you know? Like, if they're like, bro, I hate your sneaker videos, delete all of them, bro, you suck, do Pokemon, you know, I don't care. Like, I just dab on them, bro, I dab on them. So, don't listen to the haters, whoever hates you. Um, this YouTube one thing is good at is you can like train your patient patiency or patient I don't know what you call it but like right now if people like scold me or like see bad words to me I nah, I'm like I'm fine bro I get it every day man so yeah that is the fourth step so on to the last step to become a sexual youtuber is become yourself like look don't listen to people i mean of course if your fans ask you to do like some kind of videos and you think like, they're like appropriate for your fans to watch then of course do it but um like if like a lot of people like like i mean to be honest if like a few people keep complaining on your videos just once again ignore them just do whatever you like like i mean to me i, I like pokemon i like sneakers like I do anything I want, like, I don't care, like, if haters, like, hate on me, like, uh, that's one tip on becoming a successful, successful YouTuber is being yourself, like, YouTube, it's YouTube, you, that means me, you, you have to be yourself for the tube, so yeah, yeah, I don't even know what that means, the tube thing, but yeah, just be yourself and don't listen to haters once again, so yeah. So yeah guys, this has been, I don't know if a long video at all, I, I'm not sure, but if you guys did enjoy watching this video, be sure to smash the like button down below, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!